a screenshot of a website that's got the jagged edges, uh, shadows. You can do a lot of funky stuff with that. That might be, if I remember right, 49 bucks. Um, but there's free options out there. Um, I think even Jing Project, the one that does the the video, five minute video for free, I think it actually has a screen capture um, part of that where you can screen capture something for free. Um, but that is something you definitely need where you can show your guys. And I like snag it because I'll take a picture and I'll have an arrow. So, you know, right here between this and this, I want, then I type in, I want this. And then I show the screenshot of what I want going in that area. And that's all, all you're doing is you're just mapping out exactly what you want done. And they will do it. Again, I don't know how they do it. I don't even care. Um, I just use a Word doc for all the information. that I pass back and forth to my guys. Um, when you're communicating, and I'll show you in a bit how you go about hiring these people, but you start off with email. Um, if you're in some of the other systems, you're communicating through their system. Uh, but you know, you're going to start off simple, and then you can move into other communication systems, meaning like, a, oh, what's it called? Backpack, I think is the name of the company. Um, what's... You know what I'm talking about, Liz? The uh, base camp. Um, that's a communication system. We have what we found most times. I'll show you what I use. We've tried different ones, and there's always some problem with it, or it just again doesn't work the best. You can have this awesome online program that keeps track of your to-do list, but sometimes just a stupid pad of paper works the best. So better, bigger isn't always you know the best thing to use. Um, but you'll, you'll figure that out. But you can start with emails. Um, and then also realize that you have to have every single step written down or it won't get done. These programmers, if you told them that you want A, B, C, D, E to happen, but you left out D, they a lot of times don't make that jump like, oh, he forgot D, I better put it in there. They just won't put it in there. If you, and get it down to, okay, when they click this link, I want it going to this page, but you also have to say, I want it opening in a new window, if that's what you want. You have to be that specific. Eventually, as you're working with people, they'll know, like my guys know, okay, he wants every, you know, these links to open in new windows. He wants, when he says, you know, when he says add graphics, then he means background too, header, footer, background. So they eventually understand what you need, what you're looking for. But at the beginning, you've got to hold their hand and, and every single thing you've got to tell them what to do. Some outsourcing resources. Elance is mentioned many times. I put that on there because that's who I used at the beginning. Rent-A-Coder, that is another service that I used at the very beginning. And I will explain that process in just a bit. Now, the Warrior Forum, um, I, I think it's just warriorforum.com, they've got a special offers area where you can get people doing graphics and even some copy. They'll sell you products, PLR products, uh, articles, stuff like that. You can get a lot of stuff done pretty inexpensive. And I found a bunch of people on there. Now, all of these systems that I'm mentioning they usually have some type of rating system or they have a feedback system or you can just see how many times they've posted. So in the first cases, again, I'll show you in a bit, but you can see how many jobs they've done, how much money they've made, uh, their ratings, if it's 100%, 50%, um, their portfolios. You can, almost like an eBay type thing where there's feedback going on back and forth. So if some guy really sucks, you're going to see it. There's no way to hide. And if they've got like you know, 200 ratings, and it's 99.9% .9 positive, you know that's pretty good. If he's got one rating, well, it might be 100%, but it might be his friend hired him and rated him high. Uh, the Warrior Forum, same thing. If someone's only posted five times, well, he might be good, but you've got to look out for him. If he's made posts for the last five years and he's got 1,000 posts, he's been around for the long haul. So, you know, he hasn't... He's not a scammer. You know, he hasn't been like run out of the form yet. Um, I have not used these next ones, 
Um, one, one I should mention, uh, it was reminded during break, um, digital point forums. You've got to watch yourself on that one because there are, uh, you can get things a lot cheaper than the warrior form and just search, it might be forums.digitalpoint, I don't remember, but, but just do a search of digital point forums. Within there, they have an area where you can hire people. A lot of writers, a lot of article writers, we get our articles done there. Only 100 words, it costs us a buck each, so a 400 word article is $4 typically. We've gotten them less, a little more. You've got to watch that because that is all over the board, um, quality-wise. So you find someone that's got a lot of, uh, of digital point as their own rating system. You find someone who's got a lot of positives and go that route first. Um, but yeah, you get some guys that are flaky. You go to hire them, then they don't email, email you back. Um, the, the first couple, you're protected because they're, uh, uh, or at least they were, I'm pretty sure they still are, they, uh, they kind of escrow your money. So you're doing a project, you agree upon a price, $100, you put your $100 in there, and the, the company, Elance, does not release it until you're happy with the work done. So that is a cool way to protect yourself. Agents of Value, I've heard good things about that. Um, Odesk, I've also heard good things. I've not used that either, so just letting you know. Once you find someone, keep them to yourself. Don't tell anyone else. Unless you've got like a close, close business partner. And then you tell them, okay, I'm going to tell you this person's name, but don't tell anyone else. Even though you might be doing them a favor, it could come back and bite you in the butt. If all of a sudden they become well-known, and I've had that happen, where all of a sudden a copywriter goes from charging me, you know, charging everyone $1,000 a letter, all of a sudden they're at 2000 5000 7500 Yeah, I've seen one copywriter up to now, he does a whole project, everything, for $30,000 now. Just because he started. Word of mouth got him, you know. And he, you know, he probably deserves it. But he still started at 1000 So, if, you know, and you, you, you want to do him a favor and you like him and everything and you tell other people, but, you know, it's... Unfortunately, it gets up there. Or they get too busy. They keep their prices the same. Like for gra my graphic guys, I went to uh, log in the other day to order some more graphics, and he was like busy for the next three days. He had taken on too many jobs. You know, good for him. So now if he, you know, it's supply demand. He might raise his prices because he's got too much supply. So yeah, kind of keep that, uh, those people a secret. Here's an example of Elance. I just did this last night. New jobs posted in the last 30 days, 27,000 jobs. That marketplace is huge. They've got everyone, both sides, coming in and bidding or, or you know, submitting projects and then other people bidding on those projects. It's a monster place. You know, they've seen over 100,000 experts. And just as I was copying this, the number changed. So, I mean, that's a lot of millions there. Yeah, just as I snapped it, it, it went up in the amount they uh, have brought in. Again, Elance is the one controlling all the money and the feedback and everything, almost uh, kind of similar to eBay. So you find someone with high ratings, and you find someone that's got a high positive. Um, let's see on the next one here. And I just picked this person. I have no idea if she's good or bad. I just went to someone about... Um, writing and translation area. I clicked on it. I don't know if it was article writing, but it tells you where she's from, um, her hourly rate. And even though they have hourly rate, you know, if you're giving them a big job, you can work deals. I mean, a lot of times people will set that hourly rate a little high to give them some wiggle room to uh, bring it down. And, and, you know, you don't know if she can pound out one article in an hour or, you know, two or three. Who knows? So, you can, uh, you know, and I've not used the get a proposal thing. And again, I haven't even used Elance for, I haven't been, even been in this site for like three years now. Um, I, I'll show you why I'm not doing that anymore. But yeah, you, you can look at feedback. You can, and this keeps going. There's more information down there. But you can find a ton of people. There's almost no excuse not to get the site that you're working on, get it finished. And again, you're going to be shocked at how fast this can get done. Yeah, there's someone in here that's been probably been sitting on a blog idea for a year, knowing they need to get one. 
you could go up to your room, log in, create an account, log in, tell the people the theme, give them the URL, the, uh, your hosting information, and they could get that thing popped up uh, by the time you get up in the morning. That's what I love. People work overseas, you put in the job, you get up in the morning, it's already done. It's like, whoa. Like uh, even earlier, I'd mentioned how I will send them something to do, and it comes back, and it's, it's done in like 10 minutes. Like, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking that's going to be impossible to take a long time. It's going to take hours for sure, 10 minutes. Here's how I found my first webmaster. And again, this isn't rocket science here. I posted a job for 10 hours of work on Elance and RAC's Rent-A-Coder. I just said I've got really simple HTML sales page type things to put up. That's it. I hired three guys. So I hired two from Rent-A-Coder, one from Elance. I just gave them busy work. They didn't even, I didn't tell them that. The sites that I had them putting up, I was never going to use. I didn't really even care what they were putting up. What I was doing as I was rating them, knowing from in the past when I'd hire workers, if I hired three workers, one person typically would suck. Even if I went through the interview process, I checked their past, their past jobs, one guy was person was just not going to work out. And when you launch a, when we'd launch a restaurant, you would overhire knowing you'd lose 20% for sure. 20% of your workers. So I was just looking at their speed, the quality, and the, and the communication process. Because, you know, if I have a, so, and I would even do that. I'd do, give them like an emergency, like a fake emergency. Oh, I need this done right away. Just to see how fast they'd get it done. I didn't need it done. It wasn't going to, I wasn't going to sell it. But I was just seeing how fast they did it. Well, one guy did really suck. He was bad. I don't even know how he could consider himself a, a webmaster. It's amazing. And his ratings were pretty good. What it could have been is he was getting rated, and, and it, maybe I didn't notice it. He was getting rated on, on stuff that was outside of what I was having him do. But I, I, what I gave him was pretty elementary. Yeah, he wasn't even close. So I kept two of them. Um, the, both guys were good, but the one guy failed on the communication he would take two, three days to get back to me on things that I needed done right away. Well, if you're launching a site, like my Send Button Profits, and all of a sudden you realize that Canadian people can't order, you can't wait two or three days. That has to be done right away. Well, my guy I ended up continuing to work with, I would send him something, and he would instant message me back, say, it's done. I'd like, wow. And I'd give him something else. Oh, yeah, could you change that headline to blue? He's like, done. It'd be like a 30-second gap. It was like amazing. My mind didn't even realize it could be done that quick. I thought it was some more in-depth, harder thing to do. They can do things so quick, it's unbelievable. Well, I hired him, and I kept first giving him more work through, through Elance. You're protecting yourself. All the communications get saved in Elance. They even recommend, don't take communications emails outside of Elance. Everything keeps... It's almost like a, uh, a report where you know what was said and what needs to be done and everything's uploaded there. If you've got Word docs, you upload it. All that stuff is, is inside the system. That way payment stays inside the system. Once I saw that he was, that I, that I felt I could trust him, that he continued to do good work, then I hired him part-time. Then as I ramped up my business, I hired him full-time. You want then you take them outside of that Elance system because I think Elance keeps something like over twenty percent of their money. It's almost like a it, what, just what they charge the and it's charged on their end. So if I'm sending in a hundred, that guy might only get eighty. So Elance keeps the and I heard it's even maybe more than twenty percent. So eventually they want to get out of there too because they're losing money. Um, this is how I communicate.